Good evening, Syracuse. Welcome back to another episode of Syracuse Unpeeled, your weekly scoop of entertainment news. I'm your host, Kelsey Gomera, and tonight we have Aubrey Shapinsky, newcomer JP Chunga, and Alyssa Candiotti. Tonight we'll be talking about everything from One Direction heartbreaks to Star Wars, and then I'll sit down with our number one Swifty, she doesn't like that name, but I'm calling her a Swifty, Melissa Cubitt. All right, guys, let's jump right in. One Direction is going in different directions, both professionally and personally. Liam Payne and his longtime girlfriend, Sophia Smith, have broken up after two years together. The split is right after Zayn broke up with the band in March and his fiance in August, JP. I know you feel strongly about all things Zayn related, so what is going on? Huge Zayn fan. He's my favorite one of them all because he's the most ethnic of them all. <laughs> and as an ethnic, I love him. So. You look at these sort of breakups, and I think they come in threes. That's the way that it, it all goes down. Um, ben Affleck split up with his longtime wife, Jennifer Garner, and then a lot of breakups came after that. We're going to talk about another one later on, but um, I won't spoil that one. But Zane leaves means something else has to go wrong, and that's what happened with Liam. You think so? What do you guys think? I think they're falling apart is what they're doing, and it's... I'm not like a One Direction fan. I don't know how you, how they describe that, but um, it hurts me a little bit. All right. I mean, I don't know how I feel about you saying that because I'm a big One Direction fan. Spent my entire class on Monday with JP watching One Direction videos. Uh, best song ever. Best, best song, song it, ever. And it was the best song exactly. ever. Exactly. You know, said her uh, parents were a dentist, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's I got a that is the line. I got a dirty mouth. <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm wrapping up on that one. This week, Russian politics took a sci-fi twist. A man dressed as a Star Wars character, Chewbacca, was arrested for campaigning for Darth Vader for mayor. Apparently, though, it's not the first time it's happened. There have been previous write-ins for Star Wars characters, including Vader, Chewie, and Amidala. And the arrest came just a few days after a Russian city unveiled a statue of Darth Vader, which was recreated from a Vladimir Lenin statue. All right, Aubrey, what do you think is going on? All right, well, to be honest, I don't know that much about Star Wars. Um, I know, super sad, but Whoa. I know. <laughs> Drawing slide. the line here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I would honestly trust a man in a cape, so I admire the creativity. And uh, why haven't we done something like that? So we need to step up our game here in the States. So if Trump put on a cape, he's got your vote? I mean, sure. Oh, oh that's, that's, right. your that's a good ultimatum. This reminds me of like when you were in eighth grade and you tried to write in SpongeBob as the student body president. But look, this is the adult cartoon for them, and they're writing in this guy. Like the adult version. Of it, this. it makes that's sense. Funny, yeah. All right, what do you think? I think this is weird. I just think this is a weird situation. It's clearly weird. I am offended that you're not a Star Wars fan, though. I'm I don't know anything about put it. Put that out there. That We've is, got that's three weirder. One. Princess Leia. That is weirder. That's than all this. I got. I would agree with that. The new Star Wars movie's coming out. I think you should start now. Binge watch. Okay. We'll all go see it together. Okay. All right. This is important. Liam Hemsworth still loves Miley Cyrus. In this month's men's fitness, he reflected back on the relationship and said he had some feelings. His feelings never changed, and it wasn't just a fling. He said, you fall in love with who you fall in love with, and I thought that was beautiful. I want it to happen. Alyssa, do you? Am I being too hopeful? You are not being too hopeful. I am beyond excited for this. I don't know if I could be more excited. But, I mean, everyone loves Miley. They do. And I still have feelings for Miley. So if I still have feelings, then this is a big <laughs> deal. But if she's not for it, if she's not all for this whole Liam fling once again, I'll take her place. I'll do it for her. I'll suck it up. And then it'll be fine. I don't have to, no one has to pressure her. Like I <laughs> could true. do it. I could. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'd all take one for yeah. the team on that one. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Liam he Hemsworth. Oh yeah, Liam um, Hemsworth. Hemsworth versus Payne. I take Hemsworth. I agree. <laughs> really? All in. Yep. You're Big left with you're with the left. That's a hot take. That's a hot it take. It is. I enjoy that one though. <laughs> well done. All right. What do you guys think, Hemsworth or Payne? Because I'm sticking to it. I go Payne. I mean, I, I've made I that completely you clear. <laughs> I mean, to quote Miley Cyrus, I'm a do my thing. So I'm with oh, really? Miley. Um, I support her 100%. So whoever she goes with, I'll let homegirl do her thing. All right, we will let our homegirl do her thing. <laughs> Stick around on Peelers because up next we'll be talking about the breakup of America's favorite celebrity couple.
There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Search Ready Kids at nyc.gov or call 311. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. Okay, so now it's the end of the Stonefield era. Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield have officially broken up. In fact, a source that was close to the couple confirmed they broke up several months ago, but have managed to keep the split under wraps. The couple met on the set of The Amazing Spider-Man as the star-crossed cross lovers Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy. They've been dating on and off for about four years now, and I know we heard a while ago maybe they broke up, but it is official now. Aubrey, are you a Stonefield fan? Are you as heartbroken as I am? To be honest, I literally just found out about this about five minutes ago, and I am crushed. I'm torn. I'm sad. Um, my allegiance goes with Emma just because she's great, but um, I am depressed. It's so sad. All right, I'm seeing you shaking your head. What's I'm, that about? I'm not a Stone fan, all right? That that might be something that is not amongst these yeah, people get out. on this That's panel. Get out. That's my But I'm dude. straight on the Garfield train. All right, he's okay? never coming back. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Put that on the record. The first and last episode. Out. <laughs> An underrated Spider-Man, let me just tell you that. But he didn't have much to work with with Emma Stone as far as a Gwen Stacy. Look, Kirsten Dunst did a fantastic, <laughs> a fantastic upside down kiss. Had that, didn't have that moment. Now that's true. Her. All right, so what's up with there being a new replacement Spider-Man again? How many more Spider-Men are we going to have? I don't Too many. Know. Sequels are never, like, after you get to the third one, you just got to stop. Mm. Third one should never even exist, so this is too much. I too feel much. you on that. Maybe the end of that era was the end of the Stonefield yes. era. I don't know. All right, so Taylor Swift is making her wildest dreams come true. Earlier this year, she was named Forbes' highest paid star under 30. She was closely followed by Bieber, of course, then Rihanna and Lady Gaga. Always the overachiever, Swift and Calvin Harris beat Beyonce and Jay-Z as the highest paid celebrity couple. JP, what do you think about all her success? Well, it's going to continue. I mean, T-Swift is going to rule the planet. She's <laughs> going to be the president next. T-Swift, there's no max out to where she can go because she can do country, she can do pop, she can do it all. And I know she's just going to become a DJ with Calvin Harris. Now. Did she really ever do country? Come yeah. on. Oh, yeah. She wore I... cowboy boots. That's half the battle. <laughs> Put me in cowboy boots. I'm not country. I'm just a brown boy in country clothing. It work. <laughs> what fun. do you guys think? I think I'd like to do, to see Taylor Swift do some, like, screamo. Um, and then we can She test. can do it, though. Like... How well she'd really do. I think she'd be able to do it. I don't really want to see her do it, but <laughs> wasn't that it'd bad be blood? Fine. Oh yeah, that's scary. Blood. A little bit. That was scary. That was All right, you have a lot of confidence in her. How Too many? Much. All right. Well, we're gonna come back to Taylor Swift a little later, but for now, Halloween is coming up. Um, Kelly Ripa is going as Kim K's Break the Internet magazine cover, and Miranda Kerr is going as Marilyn Monroe. Mine's not quite as glamorous, but what are you guys going as, Alyssa? Let me know. I actually was struggling for a while. I don't want to do a basic costume. I think you can always end up doing something bad when you try to do that. So I was going to go maybe bring it all the way back to a throwback and be Incredibles with a few friends. It's a good group project, like a good way to do it that way. Um, and also I think it's different. I don't think many other people are going to do it. And it's like timeless. Oh, was The Incredibles. I think The Incredibles are timeless. That's a yeah. good one, really good one. Wait, which one are you going to be? I don't know. To be determined. Whatever happens that day. Okay. Whatever happens. The one with the eye on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the red one. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Uh, JP? I'm going to be Zane. I think we already went over it. I got a group of friends. Or Taylor Swift. We're, we're going to be One Direction. We're going to be fantastic little boy band. Well, then, it, clearly, you're not going. 
Well, <laughs> I won't be dressed the same, but we're going to be a fantastic little boy band. All right, all right. What about you? Um, TBD. It's a surprise. So. Wow. Mm, Am yeah. I the only one with multiple? I've got like four in my back pocket. Wow, that's great. Well, Where give me they? some because I would love to hear them. All right, Mario Kart. Okay. I am not Mario or Luigi. I am the question mark. All right. Mm. They're going to chase me all around. Okay. Um, zebra. I've got some ears. I'll do a little face paint. Creative. Um, Cinderella. Timeless. Also creative. Very Timeless, good. right? That's it. Oh, what was the other one? I had another one on Baga, but it didn't end up working out. So hmm. a little bitter. We'll see. We'll see. I've got three, so I'm good. Hmm. All right. Up next, we'll get a glimpse of Syracuse students' online guilty pleasures and dirty little secrets. Stick around, Peelers. You know what, guys? There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. This weekend, our lovely uh, Aubrey asked Syracuse students to show us their internet search histories. Let's take a look. Hey, on Peelers, we're here on Marshall Street and we want to know what's in your Google search history. So get those fingers scrolling because you're in for a real treat. So can we look at your uh, Google search history on your phone, what you've Googled in the past few days? Um, for what? This is just for like Citrus TV. No. Yeah, I don't have the app. I use Bing. You um, use Bing? Yeah. I have Khloe Kardashian, 2008, Devil in Spanish. Ivanka Trump, which, <laughs> which is self-explanatory. <laughs> self um, well, I, I'm a little confused. You're going to have to explain a little more about... I think Ivanka. someone said, oh, look how... Someone was asking, do you know Donald Trump's daughter? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, she's really hot. So, <laughs> like, I showed her, showed her picture. Al Golden Sweat. <laughs> Can you describe a little bit about that last So Yeah, Al Golden, he's a former coach of the Miami Hurricanes. They call him Sweat Tie because he only wears a tie and sweats. They just fired him, thank God. So I want to see a picture of him before the game, the axe. Shirtless Justin Timberlake. <laughs> you know what? I, I probably Googled that one too. It's, it's a good picture. I Googled, is a hot dog a sandwich? Because I felt like it was quite the debate. So... Uh, that is a fantastic question, and yeah. to be honest, I don't know the answer to that. Um, we determined that a hot dog is a sandwich because it's uh, the meat between, it's the meat between two uh, two buns, two uh, slices of bread. Is a hot dog sandwich? I personally think it is not a sandwich because it is not two separate pieces of bread, and the meat is exposed on the top. So no, it is not a sandwich. Yeah, obviously. Um, right. what We've do you got a supporter. What do you need for a sandwich? You need bread, and you need something to fill in the bread. The weenie fills in the bread. So I Googled it, and Google told me, yes, it is a sandwich, and Google doesn't lie, and I use Google for everything. So I like to say that Google is correct in this situation. This clearly is an argument that may never be solved. So it seems like this week's segment of what's in your Google search history has turned into a lively debate of whether a hot dog is a sandwich. And I'm Aubrey Shepinski from Unpeeled, and I still do not know the answer to that question. All right. <laughs> Hot debate going on. First of all, words to live by. Google's never wrong. Very what true. do you think? Is a hot dog a sandwich? See, 
it's such a hard question to answer because right off the bat you're like, no, it's not a sandwich. But then you think about it and you're like, maybe it is, Sammy, because if you think about it, <laughs> there's like two pieces of bread. Yes, they're combined, but there's like meats in there. So well, they can be combined because think about it. Sometimes you get a slider that's combined, right? Oh sure. Like you know what I'm R. saying? R. Like R. hot R. dog, sliders. hot dog, slider. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Did I give you guys a visual there? <laughs> um, but, I mean, a hot dog is kind of its own entity. It is. Right? Um, we did have someone say it's its own breed, and I would like to classify it as its own breed. I think it's a great... <laughs> its own thing. breed of sandwich. Okay. Sure. All right. So, was that the weirdest search? It honestly was the weirdest search. We did have a search, um, Chef Boyardee. The circumstances are still unknown, um, but, you know, why not? Google Chef Boyer, just like to see if he's a real person? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's something <laughs> about like a, a meme or I don't know. Chef Boyardee. All right. Let's take a look at what our most recent searches were. Do you have yours okay. out? I don't. Do you have it? Okay. Do you know what yours was? Um, oh, All right. You I can. Okay. Here's Let's mine. Yours were. Okay. Um, Mario Kart question box costume. Oh, okay. All right. I see where that goes in. Um, zebra half face paint. Is Scream Queens on tonight? <laughs> that was one. 13 best now polish shades. I hope you found the best one. I did. Do you think so? I think I did. I did. It looks great. What else great. is there? This could know. be incriminating. Could be. Oh, I, okay. Which dancer from Justin Bieber's I'm Sorry was the... I took that. I took that. Who were you? I don't know the name. What were you? I don't know. Yeah, All right. Sorry. Ellie, thanks again. So <laughs> I called you Ellie. See, okay. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie was with her. Aubrey, thanks okay. again. Next up will be... Meeting with Melissa Cubitt, who will be sharing her up close and personal encounters with Taylor Swift. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play, what you wear, how you dance, or even what direction life takes you. You just need to be there. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. I grew up in the housing projects of Cleveland. I didn't even know that life could be any better than it was. Education for me has been a way to get away from the agony of what was normal life. I want to be able to impact the community, not just look back on where I came from, but to reach back to where I came from and pull some people up with me. My name is David and I am your dividend. Hey, I'm Peelers. I'm here now with Melissa Cubitt, who has lived the dream of any Swifty. She's rubbed shoulders with the pop princess herself. Thanks for joining us. First of all, we keep calling you a Swifty. Now, am I right or am I wrong? You don't love that name. I don't love it. I don't mind. I think technic in technical terms, I would be considered a Swifty, but I don't know. I think it just makes me sound like crazy, I guess, which I am, <laughs> but I don't, I don't want people to think I'm crazy, you know, like, it's normal to me, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. It does. No, it does. <laughs> like, it does. I personally, maybe I can't relate. I'm not the yeah. biggest T-Swift fan, dare okay. I say it. It's okay. No, it's okay. Um, I respect that. It's fine. Where did it but, all begin? Okay. I think, you know, I've been listening to her since I was like 10 or 11. You know, I got the uh, first CD like her when she was like 16. I think she released it. Um, but ever since then, I just fell in love with her music and the way she has been able to tell stories through her songwriting. 
Um, and I really admire that over everything else. And I think she's really genuine and honest. And I think um, she's doing so great for herself right now. So I really admire her. So you do you feel like a personal connection to her, like knowing her through her songs, that kind of thing? I do, I do. And it sounds weird, but I think her songs are so honest. And you listen to it and you're like, I went through that. You know, so like it's just... I guess comforting in a way and I actually met her last summer so especially after that I feel like I can be like oh yeah I know her like not really but <laughs> like sort of now. Do you think she recognizes you because I know you've been to like so many concerts. I have been to a lot of concerts but I am definitely not the only one on this level. I know people who have been to like thir over 30 of really? just Taylor Swift. So she doesn't remember me. She Some of them maybe but I think I'm just average. How many have you been to? Um, 14. I'm seeing my 15th this weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh my gosh. How many have you gone to? Have you gone to multiple for each tour? I have, yes. Yeah. So it's gotten worse as I've gotten older and been able to like fund it myself, you know? It's so, like when I was like 13, like my parents would buy me one ticket for Christmas or whatever, but now that it's like I'm investing my money in this, it's like I'm crazy. Like I call my mom and I'm like, oh, I'm going to Florida. My mom's like, what? But it's like normal to them now, so they like don't even care. <laughs> so do you get like the really nice tickets or because you go so often mm -hmm. or? No, you know, it depends. And actually, I went a few times this summer um, and I didn't have great seats, but I got upgraded. I got like I saw it from the front row, like I think twice. Um, so I just lucked out because the, like those seats are really expensive, but I was supposed to be up top, but I just got lucky. All right. So here we have self-proclaimed not Swifty. Big fan of Taylor Swift, one of the biggest in Syracuse, right? Well, JP thinks not. We're coming back for some T-Swift trivia. Stick around. Wake the sun, tell him that I've begun to dream of things. I've got a job to do today. I have got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. Hey guys, welcome back. JP, get ready. Melissa has been to Taylor Swift's house. We found out that's how big of a fan she is. So you can call me a Swifty. I, I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, I'm okay with it. <laughs> all right, I'm fine. strong. Let's jump into the trivia. You guys ready? I'm ready. All right, all right. Which Taylor Swift music video has the most views on YouTube? Bad Blood, Love Story, Blank Space, or Shake It Off? Is, do I like buzz in? You or can what just tell me. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Bad Blood. Okay. I'll go blank space. Ooh, blank space. Yeah, he got it. He got it. He got it. All right, what is Taylor Swift's lucky number? That's an easy one. Yeah. I could go. You go. 13. 13. Yeah. They both got it. Okay. <laughs> Which country was Wildest Dream Shot in? Uh, another easy one. Uh oh. Not an easy one. You go first. All right, you I'll go give you first. your choices. You've got Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria. 
Kenya. Nigeria. Both wrong. Oh. Botswana. I thought we were doing the continent. I thought I didn't know it was continent. We all know the continent. Yeah. All right, what is she afraid of? Sea urchins, eels, stingrays, or sharks? Sea urchins. Sharks. Sea urchins. <laughs> okay. We're one, one, and one tied. Okay, what was her grandmother's job? A policewoman, a midwife, a dog trainer, or an opera singer? Opera singer. Opera singer. Wow. Good job, guys. All right. Who was Taylor Swift named after? James Taylor. All right. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know she that. She got it. She got it. What are her four nicknames? Uh, can we come Just up name four. <laughs> name four. Group T effort. Swift. All right. Uh, T Sizzle. T Swizzle. With yeah. W? Yeah. Okay, this is a good effort. <laughs> yeah, it was Swifty. All right, we yeah, got those. All right. Swifty, What's yeah. her spirit animal? Oh, jeez. A fox, a dove, a dolphin, or a cat? Cat. Cat? Wrong. It's a oh. fox. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Curveball. All right. Bonus question for two points, okay? Oh, this is a big one. <laughs> Rank the following people from highest to lowest for number of Twitter followers, okay? Here they are. These are friends? For, yeah, number of Twitter followers, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. You, they're followers on Twitter, but you might not know the difference because you don't have okay. social media accounts. Okay. Um, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift. Rank them from highest to lowest. Okay, I'm going to say Justin, Taylor, Katy. I'm going to go Taylor, Justin, Katy. You're all wrong. They're oh, all wrong. <laughs> Katie, Whoa. And Katie. Oh, Bieber and Taylor. Oh. Can you believe I didn't know that? That's I terrible. Know. I know. All right, all right. Oh, you guys are gonna know this. Who I know this. Who has Taylor Swift not dated? Um, <laughs> <laughs> JP. Um, Me. Zach Efron. <laughs> Me. Jeff Kennedy, Eddie Redmayne, and Jake Gyllenhaal. Zach Efron. Yeah, I would say Zach Efron. Well. <laughs> it says no. B, Jeff Kennedy. She Is that Kennedy? wrong? Maybe she was it a different Kennedy? Kennedy? Was we a just yeah. didn't know. No, Connor Kennedy. Yeah, she dated think... a Kennedy. Yeah. Well, uh, well, let's throw that one out. Let's <laughs> none of us know. <laughs> okay, okay. True or false? Taylor Swift was the first person to write her own monologue on Saturday Night Live. Say true. True. That right, is you true. Both got that. All right. What's her favorite movie? Um, Titanic. Parent Trap, Love Actually, or The Little Mermaid? There go. Love, Love Actually. Love Actually. Wow, you guys. She loves John Hughes. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So I don't know who won. Oh, it looks like we've only got two. Two over here, one over here, and the rest were either ties or we didn't get it. So she's the winner. She gets the 1989 the champion trophy that we just made. All right? Wow. Here we go. Congrats. Thank you. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next week on Syracuse Unpeeled.